Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on types of numbers. This is the second video on this topic and we're going to look at rational numbers and irrational numbers in this video. So first of all, what is a rational number? Well, a rational number is a number which can be expressed as a fraction, a over b, where a and b are both integers. So this obviously includes all fractions uh, with integer values as the numerator and denominator. But other examples include integers. So integers, as we saw in part one, are whole numbers. Uh, so examples are one, two, three, or minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. So any whole number, which is either positive or negative. Uh, and then we can write these as a fraction by just putting them over one. So for instance, one over one is just equal to one. Uh, two over one is equal to two. And minus one over one is equal to minus one minus 3 over 1 is equal to minus 3 and so on. Uh, so any integer can be expressed as a fraction therefore it is a rational number. Uh, so what about uh, decimals? Well decimals we can either have recurring or non-recurring decimals. So let's look at a non-recurring decimal for instance 0 0.25 we can express this as a fraction because this is equal to 1 quarter or we can have a recurring decimal for instance, 0 0.6 recurring. Uh, so this is equal to two thirds. Two and three are both integers. Uh, this is a fraction, so therefore this is a rational number. So all of these are examples of rational numbers. Moving on then, let's have a look at irrational numbers. So irrational numbers are numbers which can't be expressed as fractions A over B. Uh, so they're not equal to, that's what this symbol means, uh, where A and B are integers. So examples include thirds. Uh, so for instance, root 2. So a third is any number which is the square root of a non-square number. Uh, so root 2 or root 5. So these are equal to 1.4142 and so on. And 2.2360 and so on. So these decimals go on forever and they never repeat themselves. So they're non-recurring decimals. Uh, and then another example would be pi, which is 3.14159 and so on. Uh, so, uh, these are all examples of irrational numbers which can't be written as a fraction uh, made up of integers A and B. If you found this video useful, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform, so if you take the test, uh, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and all of it is marked instantly, uh, so you get instant feedback and be able to track your progress. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.